wrong ones part ways, right ones find their way. The article I'm sharing with you today is titled Sleeping in Separate Beds, For 40 Years My Husband Loves Me Very Much Good Marriages Adhere to This Law. Let's listen together to what a beautiful marriage looks like. It's about an elderly couple who have been married for nearly 40 years. Both work at universities, one in agricultural science research and the other as a media studies professor. At the beginning of their marriage, the wife, who graduated from a normal university, became a high school teacher. After marriage, the husband took the initiative to do household chores such as cooking and cleaning. Despite already working at a university, he believed in his wife's intelligence and potential for significant improvement, so he encouraged her to change her field of study and pursue further education. Over the years, he accompanied her step by step through this transformation. Eventually, both became professors and excelled in their respective fields. As they became busier, they had less time for household chores and often dined out, which displeased the mother-in-law. However, the husband firmly defended his wife, stating that they both had careers and neither had time for household chores. He emphasized that he wanted his wife to pursue what she loved, and dining out was convenient for them. The mother-in-law eventually understood their situation. Unfortunately, a year before retirement, the wife was diagnosed with cancer. During her treatment, the husband, despite his important research responsibilities, frequently traveled between locations to take care of her, losing over 20 pounds in the process. After her condition stabilized, he continued his research and brought her to live with him at the research base. Fortunately, her cancer was detected early and with proper treatment and care, she only needed regular checkups. This story reminds me of a poem the days of the past have slowed down. Everything is slow, but a lifetime is enough to love only one person. Interestingly, despite their deep love, this couple has slept in separate beds since they got married. Unmarried girls from small towns may question the significance of such a formality, but for such a loving couple, sleeping in separate beds is also a form of romance. Doctor Susan Johnson, a renowned marriage therapist, believes that a spouse is someone who provides reliable emotional support and comfort. When communication becomes unbearable in a marriage, it indicates a lack of this reliability. Psychiatrist John Bowlby proposed attachment theory, categorizing relationships into secure and insecure attachments, the latter further divided into anxious ambivalent and avoidant styles. Both stem from the desire for security. Unsurprisingly, unhappy marriages often consist of combinations of insecure attachment styles. Couples enter marriage with hopes of growing old together, only to find themselves trapped in cycles of pursuit and avoidance, leading to distant happiness. Thus, a good marriage requires mutual efforts to build a secure haven where needs are expressed and responded to sincerely. In conclusion, a marriage is a secure emotional shelter that requires both partners to express their needs honestly and respond to each other's needs courageously. Love can conquer barriers and lead to a springtime of love, where all doubts and worries are cast aside in pursuit of an enduring bond. I once heard a story about Mr. Z, a photography enthusiast whose passion for his hobby overshadowed his marriage. Despite frequent conflicts, his dedication to photography remained steadfast until one New Year's Day, when his wife tearfully confessed to losing the wedding ring he had bought her with his photography awards. This loss prompted Mr. Z to reflect on their relationship and rush back home to console his wife, realizing the depth of her feelings. His tears upon seeing the lights at home symbolized his rekindled love for his wife, as expressed in his social media post about finding love anew in the new year. Surprisingly, his post received overwhelming support, showing that many couples may not have lost love but merely lost sight of it amidst life's challenges. In distant lands, a wife's helpless tears can awaken dormant love, bridging emotional gaps and rekindling affection. Love, when supported, understood, appreciated, and protected, meets an eternal human need. Building a marriage on this foundation requires both partners to express and respond to each other's needs honestly and courageously. As we conclude today's sharing, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and share with your friends. Looking forward to our next encounter.